Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Javi here on another episode of In the Car with Coach Javi. This is episode 23. Uh, long overdue. And it's about the unsung hero, the coach, the coaches. And this episode goes to all the coaches out there, whether in sports or in academia. Uh, or in any aspect and sector and field that you are helping kids and teenagers and even adults, I applaud you from one coach to another. Uh, keep doing what you're doing because we are molding the next generation. So I take coaching extremely seriously with a passion with fire um, I don't leave any stone unturned you know and uh, to be a coach the same way to be a teacher uh, you have to be passionate and I will use that word throughout the the episode because without passion without fire without that genuine drive it's almost impossible to be an impactful coach and teacher. Uh, I will just say coach throughout the uh, the episode, but I will I will include teachers like within the coaching system, teachers, tutors, mentors, uh, trainers uh, to me are coaches. So you are all included in this um, episode which honors all of you. What is a coach? What is it to be a coach? Is it just to like tell the kids what to do, instruct them, win the game, get a good grade, uh, do well on an assignment or a project, win a championship, or is there more to that? There's more than meets the eye. That's only the tip of the iceberg. When you're coaching a child, well, well at least to me, when I'm coaching a child, and I keep saying this and the parents will well, uh, will confirm what I'm saying is I train body, mind, and soul together. The body without the mind, the mind without the soul. When these three aspects, these three dominating forces, if they're not meshed together, if they're not working in in uh, in a sync then you're not achieving full efficiency. You're not uh, at your optimal level. And that's why it's very important. It's nice and sunny today. Uh, and I'm going for a haircut uh, and a beer trip. So that's why it's very important to work all three aspects of our lives, which is body, mind, and soul. The book that I read... Uh, which uh, you'll see uh, uh, on on the screen very soon. Uh, coach to Coach. Very good book. Very easy read. Uh, long story short, it's about a football coach that is being coached by an older coach, thinking that he knows everything, and in reality, he knew nothing. And it's a nice story. There's a lot of tips, a lot of advice. Uh, a lot of strategy involved, uh, but it's a nice, easy read. So I'm going to be quoting uh, lines from the uh, the book. You're going to see them appear on the uh, on the video when I post it. Uh, so number one is aim to be the best. I want to be a better coach and replaced it with I want to be the best coach in the world. And that's as a coach and as an athlete. As a scholar, don't just go for that 75% or 80%. Don't just go for that winning record. Go to be the best of the best. You are aiming for 100%. When I coach, tutor, and mentor kids for tests, quizzes, projects, I tell them, and again, Parents will vouch and they will confirm this. Anything below 90% is unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable. 
I know it's tough. I know it's being very demanding. I know it may be uh, overwhelming, but that's how I am. That's how I coach. Anything below 90 to me is unacceptable. Does that mean that the kid is going to get always over 90? No, but lo and behold, he'll be 15, 20 points higher than he ever was before coach Avi or any coach for that matter. That's what I am. As a coach yourself, do not aim to be just a good coach. Do not aim just to be able to teach. No. Aim to be that coach that will impact that child for the rest of his life beyond the soccer pitch, beyond the football gridiron, beyond that, that school desk. You want to be the coach that when that kid becomes an adult, becomes a, a mover and shaker, becomes a professional, will have that little thought of like, well, I remember Coach Avi or I remember Coach XYZ, how he used to rough me up and tell me how things were. That's being an impactful coach. So always aim to be the best, guys. Number two, how do you achieve that? Uh, caring, how do you spell caring? C-A, no, wrong. Caring is time, T-I-M-E. Simple, said the old coach. Any coach worth his or her salt knows the way to spell care is time. If you really care about the child, if you really care about their goals, their issues, unfortunately, but mostly if you really care about your, I'm not going to say job, God forbid, your calling, you give time. There's days where I'm up until 2, 3 in the morning. I'm studying. I'm researching. I'm bettering myself. And I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed to say, I don't know. I'm going to have to research that. Or you know what? Let me better myself. I, I think I know, but you know what? Let me confirm. Let me make myself a better master. And I always say this, whoever thinks knows everything, knows absolutely nothing. And I'm a student of the world, a student of life, a student of the mind. And I give my time. When there's a kid, a child, a teenager, even an adult, when they need, it's not, oh, I'm sorry, okay, I understand. No, you take the time to understand. You take the time to help. You take the time to, to, to listen, to, to talk. And sometimes they just need a, a listening ear, you know? They just need to vent. And, and it's okay. You don't need to have always the answers. You don't always have to, 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 to be the, the master. Sometimes these people, especially teenagers, as much as adults, I'll be very honest, they just need to talk. And they need someone there to listen. So you have to give time if you want to be that top coach, top mentor that will help these, uh, these kids and, and parents as well. Number three, which is immense, which is absolutely the most important thing almost, you have to be a guiding light. Coach, to take you somewhere you want to go when you can't get there yourself. Why are you being asked to coach this person? Because this person has a goal, but doesn't know how to reach it. This person has a dream, but he wants to turn that dream into reality. So you as a coach, and in any way possible, you have, it is your responsibility to help that person achieve their goal. I will not take failure at all. I will try again and again and again, and I will not stop. And it's funny because my next book that I'm going to read is a Can't Hurt Me uh, by David Goggins. I will not stop. I am relentless. I don't care. I will help as much as I can for my students, my scholars, my athletes, 
to achieve their goal. I have parents telling me, Coach Abby, please, my kid needs help in this. Please, Coach Abby, my kid is struggling here. And I will talk to that kid. I will go to, down to his level. I will build that trust, the loyalty, the chemistry, the friendship that I'll be able to go into his mind and pull away whatever is blocking him and see him flourish. And the day that kid tells me, Coach Avi, that's it, I don't need you, that is the happiest day of my life. Because I don't want to coach for forever. When we reach our goal, I want you to go and, and flourish. I want you to like grow by yourself and be that huge oak tree that you can be, you know, in the forest. So be a guiding light. Next point is coachability and availability. Life is one big practice, kid, said the old man. The key is to keep showing up and improving. Coachability and availability. Remember? Very simple. If you think you know everything, if you think that you're the master coach, then go home, go live in Nepal in the Himalayas, uh, hill, mountains, uh, become a, a Buddhist monk, because that's it. You, you have no usefulness to this world. If you are not able to learn every day, to know that someone knows better than you, that you could better yourself, that a coach is better than you, there's always someone bigger, better, bigger, stronger, faster. You have to be able to be coachable. You cannot stay like, uh, like, a, like, like, like a straight line. No, you have to learn how to maneuver how to be f um, flexible, how to be anti-fragile. That's another beautiful book that I read. One of the best books I've read. You have to be anti-fragile. I spoke about it in one of the other episodes. Look it up and you'll see what I'm talking about. Availability, we said it's time, but mostly you have to be able to be coachable. He who knows everything knows nothing. He who knows nothing knows everything. And last but not least, and this is another quote uh, from the uh, from from the book, which I'm going to read when the video is going to be all edited and, and nicely done. Everything is for the future. Coaching is not about what you get; it's about what you give back to future generations. A coach is ultimately there to improve not just the skills for the game for a season, but also the skills for the game called life. Coaching is a lifelong pursuit. Simple as that. It's not for your own glory. I do not do this for my glory, for my reputation, for my name. Sorry, but I couldn't give a flying fuck. Okay? Sorry for this, but that's the truth. I couldn't give a flying fuck. I am doing this because, like I said at the beginning, I am passionate. I have fire in me. I believe in the future. I believe in the power of the kids and the teens and the importance. The It's more than importance. The, the duty that we have as coaches, teachers, parents to educate, to inform, to prepare our kids for this world is a must, is a must. With the world becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, what do I mean by smaller? With all these social media and the internet and and uh, anything that connects us with the world in a way disconnects us from the real world, which is funny to say, you know? Like, we think we know everything. We think that by being able to uh, uh, talk to people from around the world and connect with them and share with strangers that were part of the world. But at the same time, you're not. You're in a virtual world. And, and that's what they're trying to do. The metaverse. You have to have both feet planted into the real world. When you're going to start working. When you're going to become an employee. When you're going to become a CEO. When you're going to become a professional. When you're going to become someone that's going to have to support a family. We have to prepare the future 
It's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be pink and unicorns and rainbows. No, and I'm not afraid. I'm not shy to get dirty, to get to get nasty, to get rough. And by I mean nasty and rough, meaning to do the hard job. When I have to tell a kid, you didn't do a good job, I will not sugarcoat it. Because the world will not do it. When your boss is going to fire you, he's not going to say, no, you know, I feel so bad. And you know what? And maybe not. And you know, let me try what it, no. He's going to say, you're fired. You're done. Get out of here. I'm here because I'm talking about myself. And there's millions like me. Thank God. I'm here to not only make the kid achieve his goal right now. I'm here to build a person, a child, a teen that's going to become an adult. And for that adult to be able to function properly with confidence, self-esteem, feeling of empowerment, feeling of strength, feeling of pride. That's what a coach is. It all starts with Aleph, Bet, Gimel. It all starts with A, B, and C's. It all starts with the little jumping jacks and push-ups here and there. And then you have no idea. Once that trust, like I said, once that bond is built, the sky's the limit. Take care, guys.